about that. Um, hello. Um, this is Red Rider 69, <laughs> otherwise known as March 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, which is probably where, probably the YouTube channel this will be posted on. Uh, this is going to be me performing the installation of, uh, well, Monster Hunter uh, Frontier on the PlayStation 3 following the guide that has been provided in the um, sticky or rather the uh, pinned messages right here so let's go ahead and scroll down I guess that is not for the PlayStation 3 here we are now um, before we get started Let's go ahead and actually make a new folder so that way we can just start fresh. All right, I'm going to put this in downloads. Everything we download will now be put in that folder. So to begin, we will start with step one. Download the Monster Hunter Frontier G PKG from this link. Coolio, let's do it. It's from a previous attempt. <laughs> Never mind that. As a matter of fact, uh, it's probably not a good idea to have that. Let's make sure that it's saved exactly in the same manner that it's named. There we go. All right. So, and transfer to dev HTTP zero or underscore HTTP zero forward slash packages using a USB stick or FTP. You can also install a PKG from the physical disk, but it is unnecessary unless you have a copy. Alright. It just so happens that I have a USB drive ready to go to do this. Formatted, fresh. Fat32. I think there's really much else to really uh, note about this. Anyway, uh, close that. we don't need two of the same folder open. Let's just go ahead and drag and drop. And um, I'll be doing this in real time for as long as it's practical. Of course, the actual file transfer for the game itself, or rather the uh, data files, as it's, as it's um, how would you say, referred to in the instructions, that I'll obviously um, go ahead and speed up. So now that that is done, and let us go ahead and just remove it safely. Now I'm going to insert into the first USB port of my PlayStation 3. This is a fat PlayStation 3, the newer model, the one with only two USB ports on the front. And we shall turn it on. Okay. 
can turn on my television as well. All right, looks like the uh, video capture device is stabilized. It's signal. We will not worry about the date and time since it will be automatically set once we connect to the internet. Select my main account that has the uh, well PlayStation Network account that I use. Let's go ahead and ensure that we are connected. If not, we will have to, uh, or rather, I will have to correct it. All right, there we go. Oh, well, well, be sure to cut that out. Um, so now that we have the USB inside the PlayStation 3, or rather in the first slot of the uh, first USB slot on the front of the, of the PlayStation 3, we shall now go ahead and not do this because that is not what the instructions say. The instructions list that we are to move it to dev, H, dev underscore HDD zero for size packages. So we will not be using package manager. Not yet at least. Go ahead and copy that over. Two packages. Oh, well, let's go ahead and delete that first. That is not what we want. Indeed, we want that. Now that that's done, let's close that, head back. So now we have no use for the uh, USB anymore. I will now go ahead and remove it so that way we don't accidentally install it from the USB if that were to be a risk. Yes, indeed. Uh, install from dev HDD. Mm -hmm. Install completed. Awesome. Now we can. Here's the thing we are not signed in. Syscalls are not disabled. So we'll make note of that. If I do have to be signed in, we're going to have to change the instructions a bit. But since that is not what is listed in the instructions, let us just go ahead and run it run it anyway. Because the next step is to launch once it is installed and update it. Let's go ahead and update it. Of 
Je sais pas si je suis infecté ou non. Now the game is launching, but uh, once it's done updating, close the game. So let's do that. Now let's go ahead and download the data files for Monster Hunter Frontier Z from this uh, for the link the Google uh, the Google Drive link you'll also notice that the um, application has now changed from Monster Hunter Frontier G to Z so at least um, on the X and B menu Let's go ahead and follow this link. Download. Download anyway. Let's see if it arrived where we've been saving everything else. All right, the data, the, the, the data files have now been uh, downloaded. Let's go ahead and not extract it actually. Let's go ahead and read the instructions before I make any mistakes. Um, download. Transfer, transfer these files to your PS3 in dev underscore hdd0 forward slash game using the USB stick or FTP. This will take several minutes. Now, obviously that would indicate that we would have to extract it. So we will go ahead and do that. Extract to this to a folder of the name of the archive. And looks like we're good. Everything seems to be here. Also note, um, I'll also note that parts, there are also other folders, but parts, this folder exists already. So let's keep that in mind as we proceed. Uh, you will see why later. So now that, now that the archive has been extracted and we have the actual file or folder with the files uh, in our possession, let us go ahead and FTP it. We are able to use a USB, however, it would probably be a lot more faster to, just, to simply just use FTP with the available resources I have at hand at the moment. Um, before I just simply just guess the uh, <laughs> local address, let me go ahead and actually just switch to uh, the PlayStation. Uh, 
this uh, some of the other other uh, listed um, how would you say uh, data or let's just say for the for the lack of better words let's just say the listed data or the listed statistic listed information is um, could be of use in terms of troubleshooting see what's wrong but uh, in any case, we now know that the local IP address is all that. So let us go ahead and connect. 192.168.4.46. Anonymous. Port 21, quick connect by entering. OK, and we are connected. So now let's go to dev ht0. Go to not to games, but to simply game in all lowercase. Let us copy. Actually, let's go ahead and move this a little bit like that. A little bit more, just so we can see both the instructions and Fazilla. Go to fresh start where we've been uh, downloading and well, now extracting. Now, this is the data files folder. Let us go ahead and transfer it over to game. Interesting. Yes, indeed, we want. Okay. Okay. It did not mention anything about overwriting any files in the uh, instructions. So that may also be a cause for concern. And I, was like, I will go ahead and speed up the uh, video here. Uh, and I will mute myself and I will be right back once this is uh, completed. Uh, we have yet another one. This one is now the bigger, bigger uh, file. Let us go ahead and OK. Another bigger one. Let us just simply use, always use this action. All right, and we're back. Excellent. So the file transfer has completed, but we have an issue or rather a odd issue in that we tried to create a directory that already existed. For example, parts. If we go into 
the exact same directory here. You'll notice that parts is also existent. Uh, it's existent on obviously the data files that we've downloaded. Contains nothing. If we go to the uh, PlayStation real fast, parts is already there, and there are no files. The same goes for the other folders that are listed here. In the fail transfers, we have sound. Sound is indeed there, sound PS3. Stage and weapon. Let's take a, take a look at that. Sound. Sound PS3. And stage. Weapon. All there. Cause for concern, perhaps. Let us take a look at what, if it contains anything here. Stage does not contain anything. Weapon, neither. Sound PS3, nothing. Sound, nope. So whether this is an issue or not, I am not sure, but we will find out, I suppose, rather shortly. Um, but everything else was successfully transferred and is ready to go. But obviously we're not done yet. The instructions now state that once we have finished the file transfer, take several minutes, download the English patch below, and transfer the files to your PS3 in dev hdd0 or dev underscore hdd0 forward slash game using a USB stick or FTP. Override files if asked. Let's go ahead and download the English patch. Let's go ahead and extract it. Awesome. I'm not going to mess, mess with any of that, obviously. It's not exactly what we're here to do. <laughs> we're not here to jinx anything. And if you'll give me one second, I shall now go back to the um, screen I was before. Not that it's important, but simply just to uh, you know ensure that everything is you know we're not doing anything in uh, doing anything in the background. So now that this has been downloaded, let us go back to FileZilla. Here we have the English patch. Let us transfer that over to the game. Double check, make sure that that is what has been instructed. Indeed. And overwrite if asked. Or rather, overwrite files if asked. Make sure that this is the patch. We were not asked to overwrite files, so whether or not that's a cause for concern either, 
We shall find out. All files were successfully transferred. You can see they came from the here, rather scroll down. Yep, With the patch. And they made it all the way to its destination. And now that that has been completed, we can now move on to the next step. Note if you have a RAN account already, which we do, we can go ahead and skip to step 8. So let's go ahead and do that. If you have an account already, hit the link PS button in bot commands and type in your PSN username. Once you're done, proceed to step 9. We have already done this, but I shall go ahead and do it again. So let's go ahead and put in the PSN ID. Put that in there. Submit. Your PSN ID is successfully re registered in your game account. Excellent. Now, let's go back to console thread. Let's look at the guide. Once you're done, proceed to step 9. The next step is to boot up Frontier Z on your system. Let's exit out of here. Active MT FTP transfers. We are not uh, FTP in anything at the moment, so I highly doubt that there will be any corruptions. I've also went ahead and just went to server and disconnect to make sure that, well, nothing else happens. If this was an error on my part, where I should have disconnected prior to leaving multi-manager to FTP, this might have been a mistake that might have caused corruption as well. Let us close FileZilla. We will no longer need it. Going back to instructions. Boot up Frontier C on your system. Press start until it loads the file. Uh, ah, sorry. Until it loads the browser. If you see another press start screen with the ZZ log, logo, log, logo, and the text in English on the bottom, you're ready. On PS3, disable sys calls before going online to avoid any potential bans. We shall go ahead and do this. Excellent. Same username that we used on the, on the Discord channel to register our PSN ID. And as stated, we shall launch the game. But before we do that, let's actually, just in case, take out any game that might be present. That was a physical uh, disk, uh, just in case uh, that is ne needed to be known. Now, start. Awesome. We see the ZZ text in English on the bottom. We do see that.
and we're ready. Uh, uh, rather, we're ready according to the steps. Now, step ten: start until you see the uh, start until you see the server menu. Select a RAIN server. Scroll down to see RAIN US or RAIN EU and connect. We shall select RAIN US since that is indeed where I live in the United States. And connect. Oh, my bad. Hopefully that did not mess up anything. Yes. Now the instructions state you should go to a main menu on PS3 you encounter a file check. I did not see a file check unless that's a little um, how would you say, um, intermission in between selecting the server and this message that we see here, or error message that we see, was the file check. Hit circle to pass it. If that doesn't work, try triangle. If that doesn't work, reinstall the game. And that is all that is listed. There is also a note at the very bottom. There may be bugs and issues with the Vita and PS3 versions that are undocumented. If you experience any issues, let a server admin know. So, we are here now. We have followed the steps as they were instructed to the best of my abilities, or rather to the best of my interpretation. If I have misinterpreted anything, that is indeed my fault. Please correct me. <laughs> Please, absolutely correct me, because uh, I may it may have indeed uh, misread it. Um, and also, um, there were some issues that we did see, or potential issues, potential risks, or rather, uh, not risks, potential clues as to why this message message might be popping up. But we shall read it. Uh, let's go ahead and read it. The installed game is, is corrupted. The game will close. You must delete the installed game and reinstall it to play this game. And that's about it. Uh, hopefully that uh, covers everything that I've uh, done. If, uh, like I said before, if I did anything anything wrong, uh, just let me know. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, just for the sake of seeing of whether or not that intermission is the, indeed the file check, let's just go ahead and. Uh, Run it again. Indeed, it says you should go to a main menu after you've after you selected a server. Press in triangle, press in circle, press in both, same thing. There was no prompt for a file check, there was no main menu. 
nothing. And that's about it. Uh, I apologize uh, for the inconvenience of uh, providing uh, well this uh, issue, presenting this issue to you. Uh, but I hope I can uh, provide maybe some, I don't know, hopefully this will help someone or maybe this will just be of, of a thing that will just be involving me, just being a silly billy, so to speak. But anyway, that is all. Thank you for watching, and hopefully this helps resolve the issue.